Hello, everybody. The Sturgis Legion baseball team is focused on delivering a strong season. And today, Post 33 opened things up by taking on Post 22. This is game two of a doubleheader from out at Fitzgerald Stadium. Post 22's Aiden Roberts leads out the bottom of the first by hitting one sharply to short. Brody Warrior gobbles it up, makes a strong throw over to first. That is in time for the out. Nice start in the field for the Titans. Jace Morgan then lines one into right center field. He's going to hold on at first with a single. Morgan moved over to third on a pair of wild pitches. Harrison Good now at the plate. He shoots one down the third baseline. It's a fair ball and headed for the corner. Jace Morgan comes in to score on the double as Good continuing to swing a good bat. Alex Dietrich looking to add to the lead. He rifles a pitch into left field. That brings in Harrison Good. And the hard hats rolled from there to a 15-0 victory. They earned a doubleheader sweep, winning game one by that same score of 15-0. The Spearfish Legion baseball team hosted the Post-22 Expos for a doubleheader tonight. The Expos won game one, seven to four. Now game two, that actually went to extra innings. It was 11 to four. It was tied at three going to the eighth. The Expos scored eight runs into the eighth inning. They get the win for the sweep there as well. In the Independence League, the Sasquatch picked up a nice 10-6 victory over the Oahe Zap. Spearfish plays its home opener tomorrow night against the Nebraska Prospects. The Stevens softball team will match up with Sioux Falls, Washington in Thursday's opening round of the state tournament. Here's a look at one of the talented members of the Raiders. Chloe Olson is a standout for the Stevens softball team, and the sport has always been a big part of her life. I was probably about five. My older sister played, and my dad has coached me for pretty much the last, as long as I can remember, he's been my coach, so he's been a big part and factor of like playing softball. You know, Chloe is um, a kid that I have had the opportunity now to coach for two years, and we've seen significant growth in her over the two years that she's been with us. And she's just a fun kid to have around, um, very easygoing, and, um, but inside she is a huge competitor. Olsen has delivered in a big way at the plate for the Raiders this season, and she says there's no better feeling than connecting on a big hit. It's definitely very exciting. Um, it honestly lifts you up, and I think after that, it's like easier to get in the batter box and just like relax and hit the ball. So we can put her in left field or right field, depending on what type of pitcher we have and what type of um, hitting the um, other team has. Um, and then right now, her strength is her hit her hitting. She started off the season a little bit slow, but she's come around and has one of the highest batting averages on our team right now, which is fantastic for her. As she grows older, the senior plans to stay connected to the sport of softball, and she has a strong bond with her teammates. I think hanging out with your teammates and just like bonding and also when it's a close game and just like, I don't know, all of the moments are so much fun. Just being able to have fun with all your teammates. Chloe plays a huge part of our success um, with her with her leadership and with um, her play on on the field. Um, again, the kids look up to her and follow her by the example that she sets, having been part of our team last year and again this year. State softball tournament starts Thursday in Aberdeen. Best of luck to the Raiders taking on Sioux Falls, Washington in the opening round. Major League Baseball tonight. Twins beat the Royals 4-2. Cleveland knocked off the Rockies 13-7. That's a look at sports. We'll be right back.